The smug little grin is what we like best about Lady Bo. Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to Paper Mario. So last time, we discovered that Shy Guys have been running all over town. And they've been stealing a lot of things. But we've opened up the way to, s to what seems to be their base. But before we do any of that, uh, we got some cleanup to do. Now that we have the super boots, uh, let's just say we're going to be doing some star piece cleanup. Because there are a lot of star pieces open up to us all over Mushroom World right now. So we're going to get every single one of them and see what badges we can get as well. Now, obviously, you can't use any of the services from the shops or anything until you get their things back. But I think we'll be okay with what we have right now in terms of items. And besides, we're going to get some new badges today anyway, so it's fine. Now then, uh, let's get the ones around Telltown first. And in fact, uh, wait, I did go to the pause menu for something. I wanted to, uh, get, I wanted to get the, uh, you know, the spinny, speed, the speedy spin thingy. Yeah, the speedy spin thingy. Yes, sir. All right. So we have to go over here to the pier and get this panel up. And there's our star piece right there. The next star piece is, you know, pretty easy to find. All you really have to go to is, uh, the dojo place. And, oh, yeah, that's gonna take a while. I believe it's right here. Yes, indeed. All right. So we got that. And now here comes the, uh, tricky part. So the tricky part is that now you have some uh, ones from all over the world to get with the super boots. So here is where we're going to be. So first things first, I'm going to go to Dry Dry Outpost, first of all. Uh, let's see. Red po uh, Oh, ooh. Hello. All right, let's go ahead with the quiz then. Of the following, which one is not a fellow member of the Koopa Trooper Bros? Or the Koopa Bros? That would be blue. Yeah, there's red and black, but not blue. There's no Leonardo uh, variant except for the red one. <laughs> Which you think that would be Raphael, but it isn't. <laughs> All right, so... Uh, let's, uh, get this next star piece from the rooftops, then. Not there. Right over here. There we go. That's what we're talking about. And speaking of which... Let's, uh... Get that special course. Because we got the money for it. Special course. That, that is called the special course. So now this will last forever. <laughs> Actually, not really, because it, it lasts a pretty long time. I'm filled with the power. I think you'll find your power to get most powers coward. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, sir. We got that. Do we need to heal? No, we don't. All right. Now, on to Dry Dry Outpost. Actually, can we shake this? Yeah, we get a coin from it. Yay, a coin. So, where, really, where you need to go is... You need to go over three rooms to the west from the entrance... Dry Dry Outpost entrance. Or something. Basically, hit this, hit the panel by the stone cactus to get yourself a star piece. 
Thank you. But you're also going to need to go to Mount Rugged for one. Oh, I just realized. We passed by here and Colorado's gone now. So that means we can take care of this star piece, this letter right here. I, I thought it was a star piece, but instead it's a letter to Goompa. So next time we're in Goomba Village, uh, we'll definitely, and we definitely will be there. Uh, we're going to deliver that letter to uh, Goompa. Over here at this spot, there's a panel. And that will get you yet another star piece. Now I gotta make the long, long way back to Dry Dry Outpost, because of course I do. Koopa Village Ahoy! So... Let's see what Koopa Coot's up to. Because nothing's stopping me. Oh, what luck! You came at the perfect time! I'm not quite as mobile as, as, was, as I was in my salad days. As a result, I'm losing touch with the outside world. A newspaper would be best way to, for me to catch up, no? Would you mind reading the Toad Town news for me? You can tell me the news then. My eyes aren't so good, see? Don't spare the juicy gossip either. I'm all ears. Hurry up if you can. I'm losing touch here. You promise you will? Sure we will, man. Sure. Actually, we will because we respect because we respect our elders here. All right, so I gotta get that Koopa leaf, and also there just so happens to be a star piece right here. And besides, we need to go back through Pleasant Path anyway because there are a few star there are a few star pieces that we need to get from there anyway. So there you are. First up. Uh, by that, by this, uh, hill, where you can get unlimited hearts, there's a star piece that's right here. And afterwards, you need to, actually, this is the perfect opportunity for me to test out, you know, a new batch. And we don't need deep down jump or power bounce right now. That would be spin attack. So any weak enough enemies will be immediately destroyed by the spin attack badge. So this actually makes travel a lot easier, even if you already have a way of, uh, you know, traveling, let's just say. So there you go. That's how the spin attack badge works. If, you're an, en if an enemy is weak enough, like basically in any older areas that you've already been to, then you can destroy those enemies with the with the spin dash move. And Mario would just be like <laughs> That that's basically how he'll do. Finally uh Goomba Road or Goomba Village. We need to deliver a, a letter to Goomba anyway. So here you go, Goompa. Now, what could this be? Koopa Koot? Yeah, I have a bad feeling about this, so I'll read it later. It's probably the old Koot's usual backstabbing gossip. He really needs to get out more. What's the point of sending all these gossipy letters, huh? I know you're pretty busy, so thanks for delivering this. You get a star piece. Because this is a letter and not and not a trading sequence letter. Ayo. How many coins are needed to buy a mushroom? That would be four. Alright. There it is. Alright, I had to look up the answers for like a brief second. Okay. So in Goomba Village, or near the area around it, you can actually go to the left here. And this is where Mario ended up. This area is really pretty. See, it's all about art style. And Paper Mario has a very distinct art style. And this is on the Nintendo 64. Like, 
I'm walking by slowly to make you appreciate it. Like, this style really holds up, even over 20 years later. It's just a very pretty game, that's all. <laughs> anyway, um, over here, over a little bit to where the veranda fell, you should be able to stomp on this panel right here to get your star piece. But, if you're really a cheese, you can actually get this invisible item without uh, having need to uh, use the super hammer. So, jump on this, and then going to the very far left, you'll get a repel gel. <laughs> yeah, there we go. There you go. Wait, I did return the, uh... I did return the dolly, did I? Did I do that? Yeah, I did. Okay. I thought for a second that I didn't, but... You know what? There it is. Alright, so it didn't really matter what I did because there was a heart, heart block right there. I accidentally stepped on a... I accidentally jumped on a spiked Goomba. But I used a heart block to heal up, so it doesn't really matter. And that panel over near the Toad Town entrance from Goomba Road is, uh, the next star piece. Now there's just a few more left to get. And they're all congregated in one place, which is Shooting Star Summit. So let's get it then. Again, this is where uh, the uh, spin attack badge comes into play, where you can just defeat uh, you know, really, really weak enemies. And with just a spin attack. That makes Goomba Road, like, virtually painless. And Pleasant Path, too. The first star piece is right over there by... is hidden under there. Second one is over near where you start climbing Shooting Star Summit. And the third one is... Over here, and where is it? Oh, wait, it's by the side of the house. There it is. All right, that was definitely a lot, but we did it. And uh, wait, how many, how many star pieces do I have? 32? All right, cool. Uh, let's get some badges then. Because we can't get them the, uh, normal way. The normal plus expensive way. So, hello, Merlo. I remembered your name this time. Which one do we want to get now? Because... I actually have enough for a 20 coin bet. I actually have enough for the money money. And zap tap if I really want to. And actually, speaking of, I have enough for a power plus. And a flat. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, uh, this is what star saving up star pieces gets you. Yeah, no, we're doing flower saver. Flower Saver decreases the use of FP skills by one FP. And given the fact that I've already... I've been using FP skills way too much, it's going to be really helpful. It, it costs uh, 6 FP to equip, by the way. So I'm going to really have to reorganize my... Reorganize my, you know, badges a little bit. But I think I might. I think I'll definitely be worth it in the long run. I could have technically used it to uh, get power plus, so that way my attack will go up by one. But I, I, I feel like Flower Saver will definitely help me out in the big old long run. I got to think about the immediate. Yeah, I definitely have to think about the immediate long run. So I'll give up two of these. And I'll exchange it for a flower saver. And also a hmm. 
I think I might. Well, there's only like so many I can. Sp yeah, we'll do Quake Hammer. We're going to be running into like battles with multiple enemies later down the line, so Quake Hammer will definitely help me out. So I'm thinking my batch setup is pretty okay. So it do it won't really matter for yeah it won't even really matter for spin attack, but I can use power smash, bounce. Yeah, I'd rather have sleep stomp and power bounce on me. See, this is what you really have to think about when it comes to batch combinations, because you got to make your Mario build, like, some of the best that it can possibly be. Like, do you want your Mario to be filled with so much HP and FP and and barely any skills? Well, you can do that. If you want your Mario to have, like, you know, all the skills that it possibly can, you can do that. But at the cost of a lot of FP. Because otherwise, I'd still be at 10 HP and, uh, I think 15 FP, yeah. So, there you go. All right, well, we certainly did a lot today in terms of side things. We did clean up our star piece cleanup things. We did get a badge, a very useful badge. And, uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. We're here. Anyway, so, uh, Ghost Story Part 2, Mario's Coupe de Boo. Breaking news on our... Continuing ghost coverage. A single boot. It seems that a single boot was responsible for all the sightings in town. This boot was merely looking for a brave soul to help vanquish a boot eating monster. Mario, of course, took the challenge and punished the great beast, freeing another star spirit in the process. After life has returned to normal for the boos, and so the town haunting should cease. Next week's editorial why Mario is the man. Scribbling here is so fun! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you basically have to read the front and the back of this billboard if you want to complete the favor for for a Koopa Coop. And I think that's the only favor that we're going to be doing for a Koopa Coop right now. Because without the town feeling completely normal, uh, we can't really do much else. So we're just going to report our findings to... Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, we can see here that there's a spot where we could possibly swim, but since Mario's technically not really a swimmer in this video game called, uh, you know, Paper Mario, uh, we can't do that. So instead, uh, we're going to head down here. Dark Koopa! Woo! Dark Koopas are Koopa Troopas who live in the Toe Town Tunnels. They're known for causing dizziness. HP 8, attack power 3, defense 2. Be extra careful because when you see them grin, that means they're about to do their dizzy attack. Their defense power will be 0 if they're turned over, so jump, jump, jump on them. Please, for the love of God. Anyway, Flower Saver. This really helps out. Because now, all FP skills will cost one less FP. So now, Power Bounce will cost only two. Ooh. So, yeah, Mario's dates and can't move at all. Whoops. But that's okay. Yeah, that's, that's really okay. Because, well, we can just literally jump on them and we'll be okay. You know, part of me, part of me really wants to uh, press A twice instead of just the one time that the game requires you to do. Wait, double? Yes! <laughs> double the star points, baby! See, that's what the game wants me to do. Yeah. Ooh, there's three of them. Ooh. Ooh, very fancy. Either way, this is a required battle. 
Whoa! Yes! Yes! Feel the wrath of a thousand suns! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Stomp on them! I wonder how much this is gonna be, actually. <laughs> Could have been really useful on a uh, big old happy major boss fight, but no. When the Dark Koopas are about to do their dizzy attack, just make sure to jump on them. They'll waste their turn by, uh, uh, you know, getting up. So that effectively means that you can just not have to deal with their dizzy attack at all. Fifteen! And of course, you know me, I'm going to actually do... Hmm. What do we want to do here? Uh, either HP or BP, because we got Flower Saver now. And I know there's going to be a whole bunch of badges coming up that require a lot of BP. I think I'll just, I think I'll just do BP, HP, just to be safe. Oh God, one more. And there's four of them? Okay, sure. Yeah, thank God. Thank God for Star Storm. Let me get those FPs, yeah. All right, press on the switch and there'll be yet another warp pipe to go to. And of course, this one will lead to Boo Mansion. You know, if you really wanna go there for whatever reason. There's a super block right there, but, well, here's the thing. We already have upgraded our party members to as high as they can go for right now, so that whole thing's kind of pointless. So we might as well just go back. And back up we shall go to the Coops. Because we got Koopa Coot to, you know, deal with. Bro, bro, my amigo. Creeping crazy daisies, you're pure class, Mario. Ah, so that's what's going on in the world. I'm not sure if I believe all those wild tales, but I suppose if you say so. It's nice to catch up on the current lingo. I've had a hard time understanding youngsters lately. Now I'm hip. Why don't you take this for helping me? The coin! We'll accept his next favor, but we'll go no further than that. I've been ailing a bit lately. If I'd like to get, I'd like to get a life shroom, you know, to have on hand just in case of an emergency. I must have one. I must. Please, please find one for me. You should be able to find one at select shops. Actually, yeah. <laughs> when I said that, well, there is no. <laughs> I literally just realized that Boo Mansion actually does have life shrooms. Boo Mansion, forgive me. Forgive me. You are a very good place indeed now. And of course, I'm carrying too much stuff as it is, so I need to reorganize my items because we're definitely going to need to... <sighs> we're definitely going to need to do that. And I'll take the... Uh, and I'll take the Super Shroom, please. Because in practice, I did the next bit of the game without healing, and I paid for it with my own words. Here. Oh, by the musty shroom, you're a peach, Mario! Actually, no, the princess is a peach. I feel ten times better, and twenty years younger! Maybe I'll go jog after my nap. Here, take this as a thanks. By the way, have you been to the playroom? I found this old thing since the last time I saw you. Have a look, a gold credit. They gave this to me in the play to the, at the playroom since I was such a frequent visitor. You can have it now. Good luck, make money. Oh, believe me, I already have. 
We'll check out what the gold credit is at another time. But for now, I know for a fact that we can't do this favor without a certain thing. I do have the sudden craving for one of Tasty's scrumptious nutty cakes. The secret ingredient is the goom nut, which grows on certain trees. If memory serves, which it doesn't always, you, you can find them near someone's house. I don't know if that helps, but if you still find have to find one so Tasty can bake the cake. I'm getting pretty famished, actually. Would you hurry up? Promise? Oh, believe me, we will. But, uh, you know, we can't really do that until Tasty has her frying pan back. So... Yeah, we're gonna have to go to the next chapter in order to fulfill that duty. Either way, uh, we're gonna be doing our big old side questing venture after the next chapter has ended. Because there's still plenty to do, of course. I mean, it should be pretty obvious at this point. Anyway, next time on Paper Mario, we begin the next chapter of this journey. See you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.